Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure private TNS zone using the Azure portal. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal so I give you a brief uh, introduction. So a DNS zone is used to host the DNS records for a particular domain. Uh, to start hosting your domain in Azure DNS, I'm sorry, to start hosting your domain in Azure DNS, you need to create a DNS zone for that domain name. Each DNS record for your domain is then created inside this DNS zone. To publish a private DNS zone to your virtual network, you specify the list of virtual networks that are allowed to resolve records within the zone. These are called linked virtual networks. When auto registration is enabled, Azure DNS also updates the zone records. Whenever a virtual machine is created, changes its IP address or is deleted. So let's, let's first of all create a private DNS zone. So I'm going to type in private DNS zone onto the top search bar here. Private DNS zone, I'm going to click on it. It gives an option to create a private DNS zone. I am going to create a new resource group here. I'm going to type in my Azure resource group. You can give it any name you want. A resource group location. I'm going to go for West Central US. And the name of this thing I'm going to select for uh, private.cantoso.com just for the sake of this lab. So it says you can link virtual networks to this private DNS zone after the zone has been created. I'm going to click on next. I will leave the tags as default, which means blank. And as soon as the validation is passed, I'm going to click on create. Okay, it is initializing the deployment. It's submitting the deployment. Deployment is in progress. In few seconds, it will be done. After this, I will create a virtual network so that I can link that virtual network to this private DNS zone. It is done. And now I'm going to go to this resource here. Click on it. Uh, take me to this resource. I'm going to go to this resource group. I'm going to see my private zone. I'm going to check for it. I'm into my private zone now. So if you would see under the settings, it says virtual network links. Click on it. I do not have a virtual network. So I'm going to click on add. And the link name, I would give any name for this lab. I'm going to go to my link. I know it. I don't know the resource ID, so I do not have a virtual network here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to portal.azure.com and I'm going to create a virtual network so that I can link that. So I'm going to click on create a resource under the networking. I'm going to go for virtual network. A resource group is the one that I just created. Name would be my Azure VNet. I'm going with the West. I'm going to go with the West Central US. I'm going to leave everything as default. And then I'm going to click on create. Then I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as the virtual network is created. Okay, it is done. I'm going to go here. I'm going to refresh the page again on the private 
DNS zone to see if I get the option in the drop down. I'm going to go again to the virtual network link. I'm going to go and give it the name. Uh, see, my Azure VNet. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to select this box which says enable auto registration. And I'm going to click on OK. It is creating the virtual network link here. If you would see the notification on the top right corner. Okay, now the link is done. I am going to create test virtual machines here to check the functionality of this private DNS zone. I'm going to go with the 2016 data center. I will create two here. So I'm going to select the resource group as this virtual machine name one would be my VM01. I'm going to keep it in East US. Default, password, everything normal and networking. I'm going to select uh, the virtual network. Okay, let me change the location here. Maybe That is where it is not. See my Azure VNet. And this one I'm going to go to management. I'm going to everything is off. Advanced. Review and create. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the VM2. Let me hit create again. It is creating a virtual machine. I am going to create the VM2 here as well. I'm creating a VM2. So if you would see, I gave the name as my VM2. I'm keeping it in the same resource group in the best central US location and in the networking. I'm going to go with the same VNet that I have. Under management, I'm going to keep everything as off advanced tags review and I'm going to click on create so uh, provisioning is underway for my two virtual machines as soon as it is created we're going to proceed further I'm going to pause the video and come back okay the VMs are done Now I'm going to create an additional DNS record here. So I'm going to go back to my private zone, private.contoso.com. And I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on record set. And in the name, I'm going to type in db.private.contoso.com. And now for the IP address here, uh, in here, I'm going to point in the IP address of my VM01. So this is my VM01. I'm going to do home. I'm going to go to my virtual machines or I'm going to go to all the sources to get the IP address of my VM01. It is my VM01. And the IP address that I see is this uh, 10004. I'm going to go to my record set and I'm going to type in the IP address here and I'm going to click on OK. It is creating a record set. It is done. Now I'm going to test the private zone. So now you can Test the name resolution for my private.contoso.com private zone. You can we can use the ping command to test name resolution. So I'm going to log on to my VM01 using the public IP. Here I'm going to do MSTSC. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to enter the username and password. I'm going to connect to it. I'm going to create 
a firewall rule here to allow the ICMP traffic on VM1 and VM2 both new rule custom rule protocol would be ICMP v4 any IP address allow the connection next allow NCIMP give it name done I'm gonna do the same thing on my VM2 firewall click on it new rule I'm gonna click on custom rule next all programs protocol is ICMP any IP address allow the connection domain public private allow ICMP click finish so I have created two rules here or uh, rules on both the VMs now let me ping my VM01 so now if I go to this and open up the command prompt open up the command prompt and type in ping my VM my vm01 dot private dot contoso dot com private dot contoso dot com 10004 right and now if you would go to vm1 and ping your uh, vm02 ping my vm02 dot private dot contoso.com you will get the reply this is because you have created a private dns zone and you have linked your virtual network to that private dns zone in which or to which these both two vms are connected now if you would it is all also resolving to the ip address of vm1 because you have created a record in your private dns zone so this is how you create a private dns zone linked to your virtual network and then that is why it is able to resolve it i hope you liked it if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video thank you